At 530, a hit and run recovery. A father of two critically injured in a motorcycle accident is now in a new fight. The man says the driver who hit him and took off didn't have a license or insurance. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Paula Eben. The crash itself was captured on surveillance camera, and we do want to warn you that it can be tough to watch. As WBZ's Mike Sullivan tells us, that motorcyclist is now trying to figure out how to pay tens of thousands of dollars in medical bills. It's always profound what flashes before your eyes. I have two daughters, 13 and 6. When you come within inches of death. They were definitely in the front of my mind during the whole ordeal. Corey Bauer lives to tell his story. His eyes remained open the whole time. Saw the car, but no directional. It was July 3rd. He was riding his motorcycle in Haverhill. At the crossing of Main Street and Canosa Ave. By the time I was, you know, at the point of no return, I was going over his, his hood. Surveillance cameras caught every moment of the crash. Beware, this next part is graphic. I tried to get myself off of the road and realized that I had some injuries to both legs. He looked up. Saw him running across the intersection. The driver sprinting away. Boyer suffered a fractured pelvis. Broken tibia and metatarsals of my foot. They had to reconstruct uh, my foot with some pins. As one can imagine, that type of medical attention isn't cheap. Once my attorney found out that their insurance was lapsed is when I realized that I had no compensation coming from them. His attorney claims the driver was also unlicensed. However, Haverhill Police have yet to confirm this information with us. I had pretty basic insurance on myself. He blew through his uninsured driver coverage with... Tens of thousands, I'd say. Still to be paid. I would absolutely suggest people check their policies. You never know when the next turn becomes your turn. Boyer says he expects to make a full recovery. He and his lawyer are working through all avenues to try and get more money for his medical expenses. And as you can imagine, his family hopes he never steps foot on a motorcycle again. In Haverhill, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.